Welcome or welcome back to Nine Help at C Squared. In this example, we have a parallelogram and we need to find the angle one, two, and three. And I we can find very fast the angle one if we take a look to this angle one and this one angle that is 114. These two angles form a line, form the diagonal BD, so they are supplementary. So let me call this point here G, and I'm gonna write what I said, I'm going to say the measure of angle BGA, which is the angle 1, plus the measure of angle AGD, is 180. They form a line. They are a linear pair. And BGA is angle 1. AGD is 114, so the last thing we need to do to find the measure of angle 1 is to subtract 114 on both sides. And we have the measure of angle 1 is uh, 66 degree. Okay, and you notice I did not use the fact that this uh, quadrilateral is a parallelogram but let's take a look this is the definition of, of a parallelogram the quadrilateral that has both pairs of opposite sides parallel so basically now i know that these bc and ad are parallel segments or line either way so that means this angle three and this angle two are congruent. So if I find one of these two guys, I have the other one. So how am I going to find any of these angles? So we have choices. We can look and see, hey, this angle here, which I'm gonna do two arcs, is congruent with these angles, which is given to us 114. Why? Because they are uh, they are vertical angles. So I'm gonna write that statement here. The angle uh, BGC congruent with angle DGA. Why? Because they are vertical angles. So that means the measure of angle BGC equal with the measure of angle DGA and DGA is nothing else than 114 degrees. So now in this triangle, right, so this is 114, we know two angles. We know in this triangle, in, in triangle BGC, let me go here, I'm, lo I'm looking on the top triangle BGC. We, we have 114, we have 48, we can find angle 3. Why? Because the sum of these interior angles is 183. So that's the, my next statement here. The measure of angle CBG plus the measure of angle uh, BGC plus the measure of angle GCB equals 180 degree. The sum of the interior angle of a triangle is 180 degree. And the angle CBG is nothing else than angle 3, the one that we need to find out. BGC is the one that we know it's 114 now because it's a vertical angle of uh, the one that is 114 and uh, GCB uh, is 48 degrees given to us so we have to add the 114 and the 48 and that will be uh, 2 162 equals 180 we're going to subtract 162 on both sides and we have measure of angle 3 equals um, 18 degree. 
And as I mentioned at the beginning, because this shape is a parallelogram, we know that BC and AD are parallel segment or lines. So that means the measure of angle uh, DAC is equal to the measure of angles BDA because they are alternate interior angles. And if you notice, DAC is the one that uh, I'm sorry, DBC DBC here DBC uh, and yes, I was correct to the other one. DBC is the measure of angle 3 and uh, BDA is the measure of angle 2 and that means both are equals and they are 18 degrees so yes the measure of angle 2 is 18 degree and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you